Well, we've got an FA Cup game today, but it's probably not the one you were expecting. And we also have a tough match away at Anfield. <laughs> Yes, hello, welcome into Living Sports here for another episode of Glory Hunter here on Football Manager 22 with Manchester United. Hopefully, we won't be here too long because we're probably going to be a bit bored and winning all these games, isn't it? I mean, you can see from the screen in front of you, we've not necessarily won all of them, but we've won quite a few. We're a pretty good team. We're trying to win the Premier League, we're trying to win the FA Cup, we're trying to win the Champions League all in this season. Let's see if we can do it. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button so you do not miss an episode. If you missed the last one, go and check it out. We played up against Manchester City, our first Manchester derby as Man United manager. So go and check it out. Let's go over the results since we last met. We're now, what, the 18th of January. We've played a month and a half. And in our previous jobs in Italy and France and Spain, we wouldn't have played that many games between then and now because we would have... We would have had a winter break. No such winter break here in England. We're playing games about every three days. We started off our December period with a loss to Leicester. And it wasn't even a rotated side. It was a full-strength team. We didn't play well. We lost 2-1 in that one. That was very, very disappointing. Our first defeat of the season. We did, however, follow up with a 4-0 victory over Arsenal. Very useful indeed in that. Last Champions League group stage game, which didn't really matter. We played a bit of a rotated side. We still won 1-0, thanks to a goal from Willard. Then it was Wolves, the next one up, and we beat them 2-0. Marcus Rashford scoring the goals for us. And then the Carabao Cup quarter final, 9-0. We beat Leeds with a little bit of a rotated side. In fact, a pretty fully rotated side there. They did go down to 10 men early on, but we were already 6-0 up at the point that they lost that man to a red card. So, yeah. Pretty dominant performance. We then drew 2 all with Chelsea, which was a bit disappointing. We went up 2-0 and then we conceded goals at the end of the first half and it was a very boring second half. A 2 all draw there. But we did respond with a 4-1 victory over Villa and a 3-0 victory over Tottenham. Remember Tottenham, before that loss to Leicester, we had drawn with them earlier in the league. Well, we played them a second time round and it was a 3-0 victory. Again, they got a man sent off after three minutes. Probably made a difference in the game. Two goals for Rashford. And one for Niang. We then played Brighton, 3-0 that one. For Fana and Willard with goals. And Sheffield United, Noosa, Bellingham, Stansfield and Rashford. They got a man sent off late on. Again, we would have won the game anyway, but they did get a man sent off. Then, then the craziness has happened in the last week and a half. Okay? We played against Chelsea in the first leg of the Carabao Cup. Now, I'm not showing any Carabao Cup football because it doesn't matter. Because we don't need to win it for Glory Hunter. So there's no point in showing you. We lost 6-1. I played a full-strength team in this game. We were absolutely rubbish. One of the worst performances I think I've ever seen in Football Manager. I don't mind just of us. And I'm also taking into, uh, into consideration that 9-0 defeat we had against Man City as Monaco manager. This could have been one of the worst performances I've ever seen of anyone in the game. We lost 6-1. That was a full-strength team. And then when I went in and put a, a kind of rotated side out for the game against Luton in the FA Cup third round. And that was a 0-0 draw. And that's why we're back today. We've got the replay of that game against Luton. Uh, Luton took us to a replay in the third round of the FA Cup. Very frustrating indeed. But again, rotated team played in that one. The, the Chelsea game was a full strength team. Rotated team played against Luton. And it was 0-0. It was rubbish. So after losing 6-1 to Chelsea in the first leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final... I played a rotated side in the second leg because there's no point in trying to get through at the final. We were five goals behind. Well, we went and won 6-0 in the second leg and won 7-6 in aggregate. Even with a rotated side here, we won 6-0. We had played a very, very strange formation in this one. We'll go and have a look at the, the game and I'll show you. We played 5-2-2-1 with Lovramento and Lamptey playing as inverted wing-backs. It was very, very successful against Chelsea. We utterly dominated the game in that second leg. They played a full-strength side. We played a rotated side. And we won 6 now, and we got through to the final. Crazy. Saying all that means that we today play against Liverpool. We were going to play against the Luton in the FA Cup third round. I'm quite glad I didn't show you that one in the end because it was rubbish. But we'll show you the, the replay as the second game up against Luton. 
And we've got that game against Liverpool as the first one in the league. We have drawn Barcelona in the first knockout round of the Champions League. That'll be future episodes further down the line. And we play the Carabao Cup final against Bedford, which we won't show you because we don't need to know anything about the Carabao Cup. Let's have a look at, uh, at the league, shall we? We are top by a point from Manchester City, but we do have two games in hand on them. We could be seven points clear if we win those two games in hand. We're a dominant side in this division at the moment, and let's hope we can keep that up today. You can see City are six points ahead of the next best team. So if we win our games in hand, it would put us up to 59 points. We'd be 13 points ahead of third. Absolutely dominant this year. And let's see if we can continue that in today's game up against Liverpool. We've had this say a bit of a dodgy spell recently, some weird results going on. Let's see if we can turn it around and have a good result against Liverpool. You can see, though, normally I play this game, it's a big derby. They're down in 11th position. They have sat their manager. It was Thomas Tuchel, I believe. They now have Martin Di Michaelis in charge. I say they're all the way down 11th place. Chelsea sat their manager as well. They did have Zidane. They now have Neil Bath. Is he still there as a caretaker? Yes, yeah, still in his caretaker role as Neil Bath. But yeah, Chelsea sat their manager and Liverpool sat their manager. And Liverpool not doing well at all. At one point, they were threatening relegation, but they've sorted that out recently. But let's see if we can get into it. Let's see if we get a victory. And then we've got that second, or not even second leg, that replay against Luton in the FA Cup third round. So we have had a few injury problems. thielman has been out injured. Niang's been out injured. We've had someone else who's just come back from injury as well. I can't remember. But Guindo and indeed they are away at the Africa Cup of Nations. So that's making our squad a little bit thin at this point in January. Which means we have called up Matthias Escudero. Someone who we signed in the summer window. I didn't tell you about him because he went back out on loan to Nacional. But £3 million we signed him from Nacional in Uruguay. He's been sat uh, back in the, uh, the, the under-23s since... He's returned in the, the start of January after their season ended in Uruguay. So he's uh, he's going to be in our squad today as a backup left-back option. The reason for that, as I say, Guindo, who's centre-back and left-back, out at uh, the Africa Cup of Nations. Um, Wendell's a little bit tired, so we're playing Lamptey and Levermento, both of our right-back options today. They're playing uh, right and left-back. So if there's any issues, we can bring Escudero on to play at left back for us today but anyway this is the team we're going to go with Henderson in goal Fafana and Mbete at the back that's because Mustafa's a little bit tired and obviously Guindo's away the Africa Cup of Nations Livermento and Lamptey out wide in the wide full back positions Ravella, Bellingham and Stansfield the midfield three Ravella again to play again after he's come back from injury and also no Ndidi means that Ndidi doesn't get to start in midfield Michelle out in the right Sancho in the left and Rashford leads the line he's got 18 goals this season Let's see if we can get some more today. So we are out here kicking off in our kind of white and light bluey sort of coloured strip. Liverpool playing in their red and we've got a chance already 10 seconds in. Liveramento hits it and it's just behind for a goal kick. Michelle with the corner just a couple of minutes in. Fafana heads it. That's over the bar. Good chances for us early on here. I expect us to dominate. We're top of the league. They're down in mid-table. We are the better side. We should win. That's, that's that's what should happen anyway. It doesn't mean it's going to happen though. Michelle with another corner into the front post. It's cleared away by Alexander-Arnold. But Sancho will collect the ball. Down the right-hand side. Can he get the ball into the middle? He does indeed. And it's bounced off of Macampo, I think. Indeed, it has. Own goal for Liverpool. We lead 1-0. Just watch this replay as Sancho puts the ball into the middle. Eh, yeah, I mean, the striker's kind of in the way of Macampo there. But he still does tuck that into his own goal. We lead 1-0 early on. We've got another chance. As uh, Rashford nearly closes down the keeper, but we do have the ball back. Michelle's in behind, flicks it back to Rashford. Sancho hits it. Oh, offside. Thanks. Livermento with the throw in for us. Michelle back to Bellingham, but it's intercepted by Verts. And now, here's a chance for Liverpool on this left hand side. Menini, we know Norberto Menini's such a good player, and he distributes the ball toward Craig Laycock. He's a regen English striker, leads the line for England at the moment ahead of Rashford thinking of trying to sign him but Liverpool want 250 million for him which I'm not going to pay for him maybe we'll get him later on in the save seeing what other you know, teams we end up at as Fafana plays it forward to Stansfield lovely ball for Michelle on this right hand side what's he going to do back into Ward Bellingham but it's intercepted and now Curtis Jones I think this is on the left hand side comes forward he plays it into Laycock I was mentioning there he hits it Craig Laycock he's only scored 6 this season for a struggling Liverpool side but he's a very good striker and he's got the score back to 1-0 Throw in on the left. Lamptey finds Stansfield and it's lovely to Sancho. And it's a poor, poor ball from Sancho. But can we win it back of Macampo? Plays it forward to McArdle. Of Macampo over to Maria. Menini. 
Can we win this ball back as we press high? We've won it with Livramento. Michelle gets in behind Des now. Can he get the ball into the middle? He reaches the byline. Ball in. It's cleared away. And Brahim Diaz has a chance to break as Laycock tries to get in behind him better here. And that's a mix-up at the back. Henderson came out when he didn't have to. Thankfully, Fafana collects it and clears it away. And this game has not been as easy as I was hoping it would be. As Liverpool have another chance here. Trent with the ball on the right-hand side. Plays the ball into the middle. Livramento flicks it on for no reason. And Des collects it. What's he going to do? Puts the ball in toward Brahim Diaz at the back post. Alexander-Arnold back to Diaz, but Lamp intercepts. And now can we break away with it? No. Bellingham loses the ball to Jones. And Laycock gets his second of the game. And I was mentioning how good Laycock was. And he scored two. And that's... Poor, poor play from us. We've given away the ball there and we've conceded a goal. And we're going to go into half time here. 2 1 down. That's not good unless we can get one from this corner. Michelle in toward Fafana. It's cleared away though. Brahim Diaz hasn't. There's four defenders back there. There's no way he should be able to go and get himself a goal as Laycock has it. Back to Menini. Four to Jones. He's in behind the defence here. Jones gets around the keeper. A good chance from Bellingham. That's out for a corner ball. Just before half time now, and we have thrown the ball in here. Stansfield with it. Finds Rashford. He drives forward now. Can he find Sancho on the left? He does indeed. What's he going to do? He cuts back into Stansfield. Gets filled in the box. No, it's, it's an okay challenge apparently. The ball came in. And now we have a chance to go forward again on this right-hand side. Bellingham back into Stansfield. Lovely ball for Livramento. Get the ball in. He does. Sancho at the back post. Heads over. And it's saved by the keeper. I thought that was a foul on Stansfield, but apparently not. And it's going to be launched long. And that's going to be the end of the first half. Unless Laycock can get the ball into Menini here. Can they get a late goal? No. Save from Henderson. We're just about going to hold on. 2-1 down here going in the half. I've told them they've been absolutely nowhere good enough. And we'll see how they, they deal with that going into the second half. Not good apparently because we, uh, we didn't have the ball there. But we have it back now. Ravella is on a yellow card. Finds Stansfield. And he'll come forward. And what's he going to do? Finds Sancho. There's men in if he can find them. Rashford's in behind. Got to finish. He doesn't. It's a good save for the keeper. But Rashford's got to finish that. There's now we're on the clock and she said, we'll see what happens in this highlight because we're going to have to make some changes if nothing good happens. As Fafana has it now, finds Stansfield. Michelle's in behind the defence here. He's got to finish one-on-one. -on -one. He doesn't. It's well saved for the keeper. And that's Ander Arnold can clear the ball away. Laycock's in behind our defence here. What's he going to do? He tries to chip the keeper. And that's a bit audacious from that far out. We're making a couple of changes here. Nico coming on for the yellow-carded Ravella. We're also bringing on Willard up front. I said a Rashford. Rashford's not having the best of games. We'll shout a little demand more. We'll see what happens here. The ball's crossed in and better clears it away. 25 minutes to go. We've had a few more shots in the game, but Liverpool are winning the XG battle. They've also had more of the ball as Virch plays it out to Alexander-Arnold here. No one's marking them. Plays it back to Mercado and back to Trent and Brian Diaz and Alexander on the ball into the middle with Nini. Oh dear. Of course, Manini was going to score against us. We knew it, didn't we? We definitely knew it. And we're down 3 1, and this is not a good performance. From kickoff, though, there is a highlight. Let's see if we can get one back. Lamptey with it on the left hand side. Four to Sancho. Back into Stansfield. Sancho Willitson in the box here. It's blocked by the defence and cleared away. And I think we're going to have to do something here. There is a highlight, though. Let's see what happens before we make the changes. It's launched to Sancho, and we've won the ball. Stansfield finds Michelle, who's in behind. He just ran straight at the keeper. Just ran straight at the keeper. We're going to have to do something here. But to be honest, I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, it's a bit disappointing, but I think the only thing I'm going to do is bring on Weindahl at left back instead of Lamptey, because Lamptey's having a really bad game and is very, very tired. So we'll see how that does as Liverpool launch the ball long and Laycock's in behind here. Back to Mercado. Brian Diaz tries to chip the keeper and it's off the frame of the goal. And Fafana clears that one away. We'll change to the attacking mentality as well here. And we'll uh, fire the team up. We can't quite fire them up yet. We've shouted too much. As uh, 12... No, 18 minutes to go. Not 12. I couldn't do my maths here. 18 minutes to go and Liverpool have the ball yet again. Dest with it, launches it long to Curtis Jones, who's in behind the defence now, switches it to Yannick, and Yannick plays it into Laycock and over to Curtis Jones, and oh dear, 4-1. What is going on here? We are having a really weird spell of form. The changes don't look like they've done anything at all, and the time's just ticking down, and there's no more highlights, and this is weird. We are not playing well at this moment, and to be honest, I don't know why. That was terrible, that is safe to say, and it means that we have uh, we've lost a chance of pulling even further ahead at the top of the table. Man City play later on in the day, so we could have lost our position at the top of the table by the end of today. And that was a really, really poor performance against a big local rival. 
That is not good at all. And we're going to have to buck our ideas up for the game against Luton in four days' time. Because if we play like that, I tell you what, we're not going to win that game. However, Man City have lost to Everton in what is a huge shock. So it means we do still stay top of the table by a point with two games in hand. But if we keep playing like that, we're going to throw away our games in hand. Anyway, we'll see you back for the game against Luton. And maybe we'll have a rotated side because the first 11 is not playing well. Right, here we are, back for the game up against Luton, the replay of this third round of the FA Cup. And we're playing our weird second formation I mentioned that we won 6-0 against Chelsea with in the most recent game before we started recording. Let's see how we get on. It's five at the back, two in midfield, two attacking midfielders and a striker. But we play pretty narrow because we have inverted wing-backs. So it's basically like a 3-2-2-2-1. But these guys play really quite far forward, so it's more like a 3-2-2-3 sort of formation. But anyway, you'll see how it works during the game, hopefully. Henderson's going to play in goal. We're going to play a fairly full-strength team, even in this different formation, because, well, we need to win this game. <laughs> we shouldn't be losing to Luton. Henderson in goal, Mustafa and Betty and Windal, the three centre-backs. Leveramento playing off the inverted wing back on the left and Lampton on the right. Normally, when we play these two people as our full-backs... We have Livermento on the right and Lamptey on the left, but Livermento plays so well when they inverted the wing back on the left. We put him out there and let Lamptey play at right back. Bellingham and Stansfield, the midfield two, with uh, Sancho and Willard playing just ahead of them and Rashford leading the line. Let's get into it. Let's go and score lots of goals and win this game. We're playing in red, Loon playing in white, and Stansfield crosses in the corner and it is cleared away, but Sancho finds Wingdahl with it. He plays it to Liveramento, coming on this left-hand side. He should be coming in field, playing his inverted wing back, but it's not quite doing that. Lamptey, you can see, he's sitting very narrow here. What's he going to do? He plays it into Rashford. It's off the post and it's cleared away. And that shows you just how narrow this is. Normally, you see our wing-backs, our full-backs are right out in the, on the touchline. But you can see here, Liveramento fairly narrow, as is Lamptey here. We're looking to play not necessarily really wide. As Sancho has it, hits it from a long way out. And that's clear away. Really, getting to these positions is where we want the the fullbacks to be, the wingbacks to be, just kind of on the, the corner of the box. That's where we'd like them to be when we attack. And let's see if that happens today as Wayne Wright's in behind here for Luton. Cuts the ball back in. What's he going to do? Plays it back to Casamu and out to Dotty here. He goes down this left-hand side. Back to Casamu. Can we win this ball back or are Loon going to get a chance? We've cleared it away with Sancho. Now we're on the break and Willett's there. Advancing down this right-hand side. Back to Lamptey. All the way over to Mbeta. And out to Livermento. You can see he's sitting a little bit more narrow than normal. But still has a chance to go out wide if he wants to. But he comes in field. Finds Stansfield. It's off the bar. Oh my goodness me. What a chance that was. We've hit the frame of the goal already twice in the first 10 minutes. Um, Luton have just scored. And they're going to check with VAR to check if it is a goal. But I think it is. I wasn't talking because it didn't look like a chance. But it was. They threw the ball in here from the left hand side. McAtee, first time back to Wainwright, who plays the ball over to Chuta here. And Dale's in behind and hits it for the edge of the box. And that's a goal. And we're down 1-0 after Luton have had their first shot of the game. And what is going on here? I really do not know. As Sancho plays out to Livermento, he goes on this left-hand side and kind of crosses the ball in. He plays it back to Stansfield, back to Livermento. Stansfield, ball in, well at heads, it's off the frame of the goal. Again, three times we've hit the frame of the goal. And we're down 1-0. Oh, Lamptey with a free kick for us, plays it over the top and it's headed away. But can we win this ball back? Or are somehow Luton going to continue to beat us? I, honestly, I don't know what's happening here. Wayne right with it. Back to Dotty. Oh, it's back to Smitarello there and forward to McAtee. And let's see, can we win this ball back up out of the field? It would be nice if we could. But they're keeping the ball really well, Luton, so they are. We've won the ball back. Bellingham with it. Finds Rashford. Well, it's in behind here. Got to finish this time. He's hit the frame of the goal, but this time it's bounced in. And what a goal that is from Willett as we're back on level terms here. Luton have had one shot and they scored. We've hit the frame of the goal three times without scoring. And now, finally, we've got ourselves one. Rashford got the ball there. It's a lovely ball in behind for Willett, who's just unmarked. And he curls that one. He doesn't curl. He absolutely rattles it. I thought he curled it into the top corner, but he smashed it in. And we're back on level terms, thankfully. We're just about to get to half time here, but Luton have got the ball. Wainwright's here, has a shot. Why did the goal? Wow, what a chance that was. Luton nearly ahead going into half time. But this game has been tougher than it should have been. The way we've been playing is not good. 
We'll see how these boys do in this second half. As Luton have got the ball again here. Rasmussen forward to right. And Tuta. And over to Ka uh, Kasamu there. And Wayne right now comes in field. Back out to Doty. Can we close it down? Can we win the ball back? And can we get in the break? Raul Rashford nearly intercepted that ball there as Bellingham's putting some pressure on and he'll drive forward to try and win this back. Rashford launches it long, but can we win the header? Yes, Mustafa back to Henderson and now we recycle the play. That's a bit of a fancy flick for a centre-half to be doing, I must be honest, but Lamptey finds Rashford and can he finish? It's a good save for the goalkeeper. Oh, we just need to find this second goal and I think the floodgates would open... Sancho crosses the ball in and better heads it. It's cleared away. Oh, what chances we are having here. Goal kick here for Luton. You can see how many men we have pushing forward to try and close down the short ball. Dotty with it on this left-hand side. He launches it in behind to Wayne right. No one is there tracking him and he's, oh my goodness me, he scored a goal. Oh, they've had about three shots in the game and they're up 2-1. What is happening? What is this run of form we're on and why are we losing 2-1 to Luton? Why? There's 20 minutes to go and we're still 2-1 down, so we're going to have to make some changes. And to be honest, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to put players further up the field and see if that works. Livermento's playing well. Mustafa and Wyndall are both not, so off they come. Put them up there as wingers, possibly. Keep Lamptey and Livermento. I mean, I'm not sure. Do we bring on another centre-back and play 4-2-3-1? Would that be the way to do it? I don't know. It's Fafana's on the bench, so he can definitely come on. Him and Betty can play at the back while playing on defend. What? What? Do we just go? Do we go? Do we go a, a Ralph Ranić 4-2-2-2 here, maybe? We'll bring another striker on. We can bring Niang to play up front. Maybe. Do, do we do that? Maybe play him as an advance forward on attack. Let's do that. Let's see what happens here in the last 20 minutes of this game because, as I say, we have not played well at all. We're going attacking. We're going to fire the team up. And let's see what we do here in these last 50 minutes. Lamptey finds Willard with it. It's all the way back to Lamptey now. And it's into Bellingham. And Bellingham plays the ball to Stansfield. And Bellingham with it again. Back into Lamptey. So many players forward for us here. It's so cramped in the middle of the park. Lamptey stands for Livermento's in behind and it's collected by the goalkeeper. That was a chance. You can see Livermento playing as that inverted wing back there. Involved in the middle of the play just exactly where we wanted them to be. The ball's launched long. And we've got the ball back here with Henderson. And then better with it. He played on the right-hand side of the three centre-backs. He's now playing on the left-hand side of the two. And Livermento's in behind the defence here. Into the middle. Rashford has cleared away. And Fafana has it. And what's going to happen here? There's 10 minutes to go. And look how many men we have forward trying to put some pressure on these defenders as they play it from the back. And they've launched it long. Bring it down in better. He does. And he comes forward with it. And he drives up the middle of the pitch. Finds Stansfield. Will I? Oh, no, that's not good. And Luton have a chance to break away. But Bellingham wins it. And Sancho, it's a four on four. And he hangs in behind. And he tucks that one in. And they're going to check for offside. He didn't look offside to me. But we'll see what they do. The referee immediately pointed at the linesman there. And I think it's been given because they haven't said it's not been Bellingham. Finds Sancho. It's a well-timed ball for Niang and he tucks that one in. It's been a long time since Niang has scored for us. And finally, finally, we're back on level terms. But we shouldn't be just on level terms. We should be winning this game. Luton are not good. They've only had three shots in the game and they've scored two goals. Absolutely crazy. As they have another chance here. Right, out to Dotty, who was playing at left back. I don't know why he's on the right-hand side at this moment. He puts the ball into the box. It's headed by Wainwright over the bar. There's four minutes out of time. We've brought on Ravella for Sancho. Let's see if he can go and get a winner late in this game. And Betty comes forward. Finds Livramento on this left-hand side. Forward toward Niang. He gets in behind the defence. Can he cross the ball in? There's so many men in the middle. Ravella with it. Back in. Willa. He hits it. And he's got his second to the day. And we are ahead 3-2. And I should not be celebrating this much for a game up against Luton. We should be so comfortably winning this game. But we are finally ahead. And maybe 4-2-2-2 is the way to go. But a chance for Luton. No, we've won the ball. Rashford has it. He's got men on his left-hand side if he wants to find them. He plays it back to Lamptey, though. Are we going to go and get ourselves a fourth and make it look a lot more comfortable than it actually was for us? Rashford with it. Hits it over the bar. We're just about going to hold on to a 3-2 victory against Luton, who are in divisions below us, in a replay in an FA Cup third round and be really, really happy about it. What is going on here? What is going on? 
And finally, the whistle is blown and we've won 3-2 and we're through to the next round of the FA Cup to the fourth round. That was painful. That should not have been as difficult as it was. Thankfully, we got ourselves through, but that nearly didn't happen as Liverpool beat Chelsea. Nearly Liverpool are turning their season around. They beat us and then they've just beaten Chelsea there. Well, Liverpool jumping right up. They're just a, what, a win or two away from European football now in the league. But anyway, less about that. We are finally through in the FA Cup to the fourth round, where I believe it is Everton that we play against. Indeed, it is. And that happens on the 8th of February. So let's have a look at the schedule. Let's see how that fits in. And it doesn't really fit in very nicely. So we're probably not going to see that. And hopefully we'll see the next round if we get into the next one. I think we're going to come back for that first leg against Barcelona and the game against Chelsea. But if the FA Cup gets shown in and around that sort of time, normally the next round's about the end of February as well, isn't it? So maybe the Chelsea game will get moved around then. Definitely that first Champions League, uh, first first knockout round, first leg against Barcelona will be in the next episode and something else will happen around about that. Whatever the other game is around then. Wow, a 4-1 defeat to Liverpool and then a scraping through a 3-2 victory against Luton. That is, that is one of the weirdest... The weirdest episodes I think we've had here on Glory Hunter. Well, well, we've done it. We're still top of the Premier League table. Two games in hand as well. So we could be seven points clear once we've played those games. And we're through in the FA Cup third round. And we're into the fourth round. And we play up against Everton in that one. So if you have enjoyed this episode... Wow, that has been a really, really crazy one. Please do leave a like on it. It really does help us out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until the next one, which will involve that game against Barcelona in the Champions League. We'll see you then.